welcome back. I hope you all had a good week. First of all, I would like to thank you all very much for all the lovely messages you've been sending us. I'm really pleased to know that you are enjoying the lessons. We are looking at the process behind making a bespoke wedding dress just perfect for you. So we have already shared two episodes with you. The first one looked at what is bespoke and is it for you. The second was how to dress for your shape. And today we're just going to hang out and chill together and get sketching. Next week we will look at sampling, how to make sure that we select the best fabric for the design that you have selected and in week five we will look at accessorizing your overall wedding style in the most flattering way possible. We are also saving a final video for the very end where we will answer all the questions that you are sending us during the course. So please Go to our blog, there is a blog post going alongside every video, going into more detail so you can watch the videos at leisure, read the blogs and send us any questions that you might have. So we have seen last week how to identify your shape and what type of designs suits which figures the best. We gave you the opportunity to download templates like this so that you can just have a little bit of fun and get sketching and today we're adding to this illustrations that help you to have a better idea of the different dress silhouettes the different necklines and the different lengths of veils available so just to have fun and get creative so feel free to refer to these if you need any more ideas Things to remember, don't make the mistake that sometimes brides do, which is to go over the top. On your wedding day, you still want to look the best version of you, but you still want to look like you. So remember that you are wearing the dress and it's not the other way around. The dress doesn't wear you. Do you get the point? At the end of the day, we want everyone to say, oh, what a gorgeous girl, not what a gorgeous dress. I would love to see the ideas that you have in mind. So please do post them on your Instagram and tag us, Delphine underscore Couture underscore. I would love to see what you are sketching with me today. Pour yourselves a glass of bubbly and um, pick up your sketch pads, pencils, and let's get sketching together. This is supposed to be the fun part of the whole workshop. It's a chance for you ladies to get involved and it's a chance for me to actually get to see what you have in mind as I am not a mind reader yet. That'll ever be. So pencils, paper at the ready, get going girls. You can always use some of those templates that you've downloaded. Choose obviously the one that corresponds to your figure because by now you know your shape. If you are comfortable sketching freehand, by all means do. If you're not, hey, the pros use templates, so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. Just put it behind your bit of paper and that way you've got an outline that you can follow. I'm going to carry on with one which I'm working on at the moment for a bride getting married this summer. So let's see what we can do for our rectangle shape lady today. You can place your template behind so you get a better idea and it gives you some contour to follow which makes life easier. Okay, so what are we going to do for her today? We're going to give her an updo. I love an updo. And collarbone and shoulders. So very trendy at the moment is balloon sleeves. Yes, you've heard me right. Balloon sleeves are coming back and are very, very popular. So she's a lovely girl. She's actually a rectangle figure. So what we're doing here, we're just making sure that we're focusing on her waistline to add 
more definition around her waistline and to give her more hips we've gone for a smooth airline skirt the fact that it's off the shoulder sweetheart and the balloon sleeves is really balancing her shoulders out with her hips and for the hips as she hasn't got a lot of it we are adding a bias cut a-line floaty skirt with a bit of a train at the back and to enhance her bust we've got those darts that will be going down alongside the bust and we want to cinch in the waist as uh, rectangles don't have a very defined waist so we're going to cinch in the waist putting some beautiful pearl detailing here so when you go for a very simple design like that it's very important that the fabric is quality and that your lines are really sharp and neat because everything will show so this is the embellishment that we're going for. We're going to make it into a delicate belt that will just outline her, her waistline back and front and finish with a nice little bow. And as it's quite a simple line, when you go for a simple design like this, it's very important that your fabric is beautiful. So we've got this beautiful duchess satin which will really go out well with the pearl detailing that we have. And it's gonna be sharp, neat lines to really focus on her figure. Definitely a look that will enhance her. She will be wearing the dress instead of the dress wearing her. But we do love creative brides and those who go for colors are always very welcome just to show you something that we did last summer with this beautiful woodland fairy tale themed wedding and pictures are on our instagram grid we use this absolutely exquisite gold sequin fabric with gold lace so the dress was all in gold sequin but that just the fishtail train at the back had the beautiful lace detailing. The buttons were covered in lace and were gold also. We even hand painted them gold to really make, make them pop out. And we used the natural beading of the sequin here to really elongate her silhouette. So the sequin were going diagonally towards the middle to lengthen the bodice, same at the back. And all the way down the skirt, obviously, they were going vertically to lengthen the silhouette. Same with the sleeves. And they had this beautiful button fastening here too. We topped it up with a champagne veil and an amazing flower crown. A touch of burgundy on the shoes to tie it in with the flower crown. So we absolutely love a creative bride. There's no reason why we cannot use color. I wonder if you girls will guess who this was for. Yes, we had an Irish bride who had a St. Patrick's Day wedding, who had a beautiful silk satin in green, very simple design because the color was quite bold, but it gave her the option of having a dress that she would be able to wear again at other do's in the future. So this just gives you a taste really of how sketching can help you to really visualize what the final result will look like. More pictures will be posted on the blog. Feel free to refer to it and please send me any questions that you might have. Okay, so how was that? I hope you've enjoyed it. We have seen that the bespoke process is not as out of reach as some of you might have thought before. We have learned about the different body shapes, how to identify yours, and what type of silhouettes suit each shape better. In case you still have doubts, don't panic. We have more information going on the blog today. And today was just about hanging out together 
and having some fun. Rest assured that if you were to go for a bespoke wedding dress, I wouldn't expect you to do the sketch. I would happily do it for you using the ideas and the suggestions that we would have discussed together first. So next week, we will learn how to make sure that we now select the right fabric for the design that you have selected. So if you have any requests, please send them along. If you would like me to show you what type of fabric would be best suited for a design that you have in mind, tag us into your design, comment in the section below. In the meantime, please like and share this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Take very good care and don't forget that there is a blog that will be posted alongside this video going into more detail about what's involved in sketching and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Take very good care and thank you very much for joining me today. Mwah.